hello students welcome back to our class in the previous module we discussed about sum of all interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees and we discussed about transversal properties of parallel lines like a pair of interior alternate angles are equal a pair of corresponding angles are equal and uh, a pair of co interior angles is add up to 180 degrees and some uh, different things we discussed and in this module we are going to discuss about exterior angle property of a triangle and uh, we will discuss some other important problems also right what is exterior angle property of a triangle exterior angle property of a triangle exterior angle property of a triangle so exterior angle property of a triangle means for example this is a triangle a b c and uh, you will have to produce the sides but see how do you produce the sides definitely you will have to follow one particular order it is clockwise otherwise counter clockwise then only the exterior angles will be formed understand you cannot extend or you cannot produce the sides however you want you should definitely have to follow, follow either clockwise otherwise counter clockwise direction suppose i am going to follow counter clockwise direction see here i am producing the side bc when i am producing the side bc this is what the side produced let this point be p now this is one angle formed what do you call this angle that angle is said to be exterior angle of this triangle and how is this exterior angle related to interior angles of the triangle that is what is our task now okay just before this we discussed and we proved that sum of all the three interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees let me take this angle is equal to some small a and this angle is equal to small b and this angle is equal to small c right and let this angle is equal to some small d now i want what is the relations between the d and the other angles of a triangle we know here sum of all the three angles interior angles of a triangle equal to 180 degrees so i know that a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees that is the first information and see here b c p is a straight line since BCP is a straight line, at C there are two angles formed. Can we call this C and D as linear pair of angles? Obviously. So, what is the sum of these two angles C and D? Sum of C and D is going to be 180 because they are linear pair of angles. Okay. So, that I would write C plus D is also equal to 180 degrees. Correct. Now, observe a plus b plus c is add up to 180 and c plus d also add up to 180 so from these two informations can we say that a plus b plus c is exactly same as c plus d right so here c and c gets cancelled finally you get a plus b is equal to d what are these a and b as well as d of course d is an exterior angle and a and b a and b are these two angles so what are these two angles these two angles which are opposite to this angle which is interior to this angle it means angle d is exterior angle of a triangle which is equal to its interior opposite angles so exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of its interior opposite angle got my point so this is what you call it as exterior angle property of a triangle i would write here one exterior angle one exterior angle of a triangle one exterior angle of a triangle is equal to its sum of interior opposite angles interior opposite angles so this is one of the very important property of a triangle because we use this concepts we use this property in order to solve many number of problems easily 
what is that exterior angle property of a triangle one exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles please do remember this okay fine and after that let us try to understand few important problems which are given in our textbook okay which are really interesting to solve by using the concepts of transversal properties of parallel lines and uh, right angle triangle properties and uh, complementary angles properties supplementary angles properties adjacent angles properties vertically opposite angles properties so let's have a look on these problems okay right so the problems given here is the first problem the very first problem is given here right i will explain you all this you will have to understand them clearly here one of the problems is this is the first problem i will be drawing the figure see this is a straight line the name of the straight line is xy right and this is one perpendicular given this is the perpendicular here it is 90 degrees and the name of this perpendicular is op so this is op and uh, this is one more line drawn this is the line one more line is drawn this one more line is going to be mn mn is one more line okay mn is one more line this angle is given a and this angle is given b what is the information given in this problem if a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 then find this angle this angle is c so what is the information given here given that a is to b the information given here is a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 then what is the value of c here in this figure you can understand one thing clearly that angle b is equal to 90 degrees because it was already mentioned in the problem xy is a straight line if xy is a straight line what about this angles a and b a angles a and b are complementary angles because if this part is equal to 90 obviously the sum of these two is also equal to 90 degrees so we know that a plus b is going to be 90 degrees a plus b is equal to 90 degrees and see here b and c mn is also a straight line if mn is a straight line then what do you call this b and c angles both are said to be pair of linear angles linear pair of angles so b and c add up to 180 degrees let it be first one and uh, b plus c is also is equal to 180 degrees let it be second information in order to find what is the measure of c you need to use this a plus a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 since a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 can we say that a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 we cannot because that is a ratio so let us take a is equal to some 2k and b is equal to some 3k right see a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 means a is two parts of an angle and b is three parts of the same angle so that is why a is equal to 2k and b is equal to 3k but we know that a plus b is equal to 90 degrees from the first equation i am using the first information that first information is a plus b is equal to 90 a is equal to 2k b is equal to 3k which is equal to 90 degrees so 2k plus 3k is equal to 5k which is equal to 90 degrees 5k is equal to 90 degrees then k is equal to how much 90 degrees divided by 5 therefore k is going to be 18 is the value of k after getting the value of k is equal to 18 what do you want here you need to find the value of c we had a relation between b and c where b plus c is equal to 180 degrees so second information is b plus c is equal to 180 degrees but what is b here b is going to be 3k right so 3k plus c is equal to 180 degrees just now we found the value of k k is equal to how much 18 right so 3 into 18 plus c is equal to 180 degrees 18 threes are how much 54 degrees plus c is equal to 180 degrees 
therefore c is going to the 180 degrees minus 54 degrees therefore c is equal to 126 degrees this way you can easily solve this kind of problems so moving on to the next problem what is the next problem here the next problem is going to be right the next problem is like in the given figure what is the given figure here p o q is a straight line see this is the straight line p o q is a straight line in this straight line p o q ray o r is perpendicular to the line p q o r is perpendicular to p q so this is o r is perpendicular to p q and uh, q s is another ray lying between the rays o p and o r o p and o r there is one other another uh, ray that is o s okay this is the ray o s between the rays then you will have to prove that what are you going to prove here you will have to prove that one thing what is that one thing here angle r o s is equal to half of angle q o s angle q o s minus angle p o s this is what you need to prove angle r o s is equal to ang half of angle q o s minus angle p o s how do you prove this so in order to prove this it is very much easier because if this angle is equal to 90 degrees then sum of these two angles is equal to 90 degrees only now because p o q is a straight line let us try to understand here angle q o s where is that q o s q o s so this is angle q o s i will take one of these angles let it be x and let it be y we know one thing that x plus y is equal to 90 degrees we all know about this okay x plus y is equal to 90 degrees and what is angle q o s here then angle q o s is going to be q o s is going to be 90 plus x can i write it as 90 plus x fine what is angle p o s angle p o s is equal to y angle p o s is equal to y so let us consider r h s what is that r h s here r h s is half of angle q o s minus angle p o s which is equal to half into what is angle q o s just now we got it as 90 plus x minus angle p o s is going to be y correct so 90 plus x minus y but angle r o s is equal to what r o s is equal to x so you need the answer in terms of x to get the answer in terms of x what am i going to do here half into 90 plus x minus 90 plus x minus instead of y can i write y is equal to 90 degrees minus x because x plus y is equal to 90 so therefore y is equal to 90 minus x i am writing y is equal to 90 minus x which is equal to half into when you open the bracket 90 plus x minus 90 minus half minus plus x so minus 90 plus 90 cancel which is equal to half into x plus x is equal to 2x and 2 to cancel left with x and instead of x can we write r o s which is equal to angle r o s which is equal to l h s see how simple to prove this so this way we can easily prove this kind of statements and coming to the next problem the next problem is going to be on a pair of transversal lines see here the problem given is already we discussed a few set of problems but here the problem is a little different and interesting also the problem given here is this is a straight line okay named as pq and then here this is one more line drawn here and one more line drawn like this and this is one more line 
see here in this problem this is s and uh, this is going to be t and here the angle is given as 130 degrees and here the angle is given as 110 degrees and this point is going to be r okay this point is r here you are given that pq is parallel to sp pq is parallel to sp now you are going to find what is angle qrs qrs is equal to this one this one is equal to how much see here in this problem what is given given that pq is parallel to sr pq is parallel to sr and angle pqr is given angle pqr is given 110 degrees and what is this angle this angle is rst or tsr angle tsr is given 130 degrees what do you want here you need to find angle qrs angle qrs is equal to x is equal to how much this is what is the given problem in order to find the value of x here how can we use transversal properties of parallel lines it is very much easier since these two lines are parallel lines let us try to draw one more line which is parallel to both the two lines through this point r if you draw a line parallel to both the two lines through this point r then i am drawing a line okay this is the line which is drawn parallel to pq and rs let this line be some l okay so let us draw l which is parallel to pq which is also parallel to sr then once you observe here pq is parallel to this line l okay then this 100 degrees and one of these angles let it be some y what do you call these angles 100 and y have you remembered this is another pair of angles these two angles are in between both the parallel lines and same side of the transversal they are said to be co interior angles the co interior angles add up to 180 degrees right so that 110 degrees plus y is equal to 180 degrees because they are co interior angles then what is the value of y here the value of y is going to be 180 degrees minus 110 degrees which is equal to 70 degrees so the value of y is equal to 70 similarly this side i am taking this angle is equal to some z okay see 130 plus z is also equal to 180 in the same way since they are also a pair of co interior angles so similarly 130 plus y is equal to 180 degrees then the value of not y this is this is z right so 130 plus z is equal to 180 so that z is equal to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees is equal to 50 degrees after finding the values of y and z now i think you got an idea that y x z are said to be linear angles because all the angles at the point r and their sum is going to be 180 degrees and we know that y plus x plus z is equal to 180 degrees correct see here the value of y is going to be 70 plus x plus z is going to be 50 degrees is equal to 180 therefore the value of x is equal to 180 degrees minus 70 plus 50 is equal to 120 right so 120 180 minus 120 is equal to how much is equal to 60 degrees therefore x is equal to 60 degrees or else you can say that angle q r s is equal to 60 degrees hope you understand how to answer this kind of problems which are different from you know uh, the direct problems so really you enjoyed this class hope you understand thank you